Hey guys, Nery here from Drake Wing Gamers. If you know me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of A Place to Call Home. Man, 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 this can't get any sillier, but uh, I'll, I've heard that the next part coming up is, uh, well, rather tear jerking, so I guess we'll see if this can keep, I guess we'll see if this can keep up a, uh, if this can keep up the, uh, you know, mood, or if it'll just veer into silliness once again and break the tension, but I mean, I'm enjoying this game either way. But anyway, guys, sit back and enjoy my team for the next 20 minutes, and let's jump right into it, shall we? Alrighty. <clears throat> Alarm chain, you're up. Alright, let's go. Today was the best day of my entire life. I hope you have your best days, too. See you, me. Dear me, friend left for the war today. Hope he finishes his job there soon. Then we'll be celebrating again with lots of food and cake for his success. We're packing up, too, me and Leo. A few days ago, Dino left. We hadn't even said goodbye. We're going to have to. We're going to the states tomorrow. I hope the fight doesn't catch up to us here. Hope everything will be okay soon. Fill you out. Uh oh. Aww. I think, as we know, something happened. Oh lord. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. This must do? He grinned. Hmm? I'm drawing. Is that the diary of Mr. Leinhardt? Is that the diary Mr. Leinhardt bought you? Yep. He leaned in close. Free real estate. No. <laughs> you guys know me. <laughs> Can't resist a good meme. What the heck is that? He pointed at my drawing. It's a horse, the one we rode with Dad. It, it looks kind of, uh, like, uh... You know what? Come on, follow me. He shut the book. Hey! Bring your pen with you, too. Von and Gehenver. <clears throat> I'm sorry, that's a Leo. That's Filio. Von and Gehenver. He grabbed my hand and dragged me along with him. We walked towards the grassy field behind our house, my bare feet wet with the dewdrops of small flowers and grass. The sun neared the horizon and it blanketed the white mountains with warm gold. Sit. What? Sit down. He dropped with a thud. I followed my butt, landed safely on a soft bed of grass. Okay, okay. I'm a little soggy now. Me too, but I like it anyway. It's cool and refreshing. We sat near the river with its water sparkling with pretty low little lights. Do you hear that? Listen. <laughs> yes, I can hear the, uh... I can hear the... Uh, I can hear the musicians playing in the background. <laughs> oh, man, this place is this place is just renowned for its uh, hidden musicians in the trees. Alright, anyway. Hmm. I don't hear anything. What do you hear in front of you? Oh, I hear water. Get now. Now open your diary and write it. Right the water? What you're hearing, dummy. Okay. And write what you feel about water. I flipped to an empty page and started jotting down simple words like splashing, water, fish. I think I got it. Let me see. He squinted. It's good, but let me teach you this neat trick. I read a lot of storybooks, so call me an expert. He grabbed my pen and started scribbling on the paper. Okay, read this. <clears throat> I heard the water splash in the river. It made me feel calm and relaxed. Whoa, it's like I can feel the words. Mm-hmm, and the best part about it is you can write anything you want. That's crazy! I know! <laughs> I guess Filio didn't know much about the world of writing. Or maybe he didn't know how to write? I don't know. Hmm, that was, that was an odd moment. Hey! He smiled while adjusting his neck sleeve. The silver wing and diamond made a dull click as I tapped him with a claw. Hm. Nice cosplay. What? No, I'm going to work. Ugh, again? Yes, I'm learning strategies with the officers. Sorry. Oh, it's alright. How'd you get those fancy threads, though? And the major and the major and other guys gave it to me yesterday. Why? Why? He scratches his chin. Yeah, good question. Maybe because of that time I helped them with the Blitzkrieg... Blitzkorp... 
blitz ah whatever anyway i'll be back before sundown you better i don't like waiting out in the cold and definitely not with leo i shudder come on give our dad a break he's been working hard lately hm, whatever he barely gave time for me anyways he and i stood there for a moment staring at each other without a word i felt proud seeing him like this he breaks the silence as he kisses me on the nose bye take care tell that to yourself he grinned <laughs> oh. goodness oh it's beautiful oh it's beautiful I breathed deep and let the cool breeze brush through my fur I stared at the stars that filled the sky it was a blue river with millions of stars it was like staring into another world he stared too but I also caught him taking a glance at me from time to time days have passed without him and today was when he's finally free from his duties how's home good I sighed how are our dads doing boring like always except Dino we went to a bar we went to the bar today they had fun with the piano man hmm. how's work it was okay he tried to smile he took off his boots and his uniform my eyes froze at the sight of his curves while he walked towards me oh Ooh, he's some nice looking boys uh, yeah I suppose I'm gonna have to help all that out <laughs> like what you see shut up he grabs my hand and places it on his member, making me squeeze it. Damn it! My face started to boil and my bitter facade breaks apart. <laughs> oh. When are you leaving again? Hmm. I don't plan on going so soon. Yeah, right. I scuff my nose. Look, I'm not going to do this for my entire life. I just want all this to end as soon as possible. Why? It's not like you have anything to do with it. It's like you have to. It's not like you have to do anything with it. Philia, there's no place to escape through right now. Everything is currently in. Everything is currently in a mess. And even if we did get out of the country, where would we go? The Americans and the Soviets will kill us. Hmm. No offense. Yeah. I just want us to be happy, us and our dads. Well, we already are. Can't you see that? All you ever wanted was to have all you ever wanted was to have all the spotlight on yourself. No. I barely even get to see you nowadays. Filio. I swear if you die because of this stupid gimmick of yours, I'll He took me into a deep kiss, pushing me in deeper, his soft lips against mine. His tongue invades my mouth and I can taste him, sweet and delicate like honey on bread. I held him by his firm shoulders while he wrapped his arms around me, feeling every inch, every curve of my back. I hesitatingly pushed myself away with a smack. Oh. I chuckled. I'm not doing this for anybody but us. I smiled. Oh. I tell him, okay. No, 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 no. He said that. Okay. I can be smart too, you know. Tell your guys to hire me as their captain. <laughs> sure, but that won't mean you'll outsmart me. He rubbed his muzzle against mine, and I gasped. Will you miss me while I'm gone? That's a stupid question. Is that a no, then? I kissed his lips. Go ask that to yourself. A folded sheet of paper falls behind a page. I open it. Dear Filio, hope you and Dad are fine. Oh, and I've got lots of surprises for you. Oh. Uh, Yep, I know. Okay. I thought it was in Philly. It was, uh, dialogue, but nope. No, 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 no. I got us a new house. Well, that's no longer a surprise. Philio, I'll be seeing you in three days. Know that I'll always love you, even if I'm not there. Your dearest to be husband. Fern. I flipped the remaining pages. <sighs> Empty. I closed the notebook. Hmm. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, Fern died. Fern, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, 
but so bad. Oh, God, that's so sad. Oh, oh God. Oh, wait, I gotta see that part. Oh, God, it's just standing in the rain. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so fucked up. Oh. Life fucking sucks. I bent and touched the cold stone, my finger traveling along the curves of his name. Rain gently poured onto my back, but I didn't feel cold. In fact, I never felt this warm seeing him again. I cracked open two cold cans of soda I bought in a vending machine and placed one on his gravestone. I sat on the grass beside him. Hmm. Bottoms up. If I knew the first rule about falling in love with a soldier of war, I wouldn't have said yes. But God damn you, outsmarted me like always. Don't worry, the ring is still there. The sky began to dim and the air colder by the second. It must have cost you a fortune for those rings. I'm not worth that much, garbage like me. You must be laughing right now, thinking I'm pathetic. And you've always been right about that. I can't even stand up for myself. I put Lowe in danger. I broke Lutus's arm. I couldn't even stand up for you when you needed me. I'm a disgrace. I know you've heard this spiel for the thousandth time, but bear with me, will you? You're not the one who's sitting next to my grave. You know, I think it's about time I did something. Yeah, I stand up. For so long I've put my life around you, driving myself to insanity just to believe that you're still here. You have no idea how much you've ruined me, how much pain you've caused. And because of you, I'm stuck in an endless loop. I've tried faking it, convincing myself that I'm okay without you. I spent two whole years, two, just to try to make Leo and Ludus comfortable. I look like a dumb mule making weird jokes and smiling like an idiot. Is it really his fault you became like this? He loved you. This is how you treat him? I... I just want this to be over. I want to be happy again. And why don't you? What's stopping you? <sighs> I still love him. I can't let go. You're making a fool out of yourself. I'm always a fool. Fern. <sighs> Help me start over, please. Let me forget you. That's all I ask. That's not gonna happen. I knelt and rested my head on the stone. F fucking damn it. I looked around and saw that more customers are slowly coming in. Mostly just one or two people having a small drink and chat. I stared at Grandpa that pa I stared at Grandpa that paced around the counter and mixing people's drinks. After a while of him having small talk with his customers, he comes this way. Lutus, let's go swim. Oh, okay. Leon, care to join? You two go ahead. I'll follow. All right, let's hop to it. No, I'm doing uh. Ah, oh, I'm doing the other guy's voice. Okay, um... What voice was I doing for Grandpa? Oh, yeah, I was doing, like, the southern one. All right, let's hop to it. There we go. Yes! Back in it. Okay. I climbed up a small flight of stairs that led to the second floor and stood in front of the closed door. I used the back door to enter as the front one was locked. Ooh, that's beautiful. I took a spare... I took a... I took a spare pair. I took a pair spare. <laughs> I took a pair of spare trunks from one of the lockers and placed my own clothes aside and put them on. Small pockets of water rippled through the surface when I dipped half my body, swimming upwards to avoid my to avoid my cast from touching the water. Huh. I sat on the edge and rested. Door squeaking open. <laughs> the lion enters, barely a strip of clothing on him. No. Oh! He said, "Bear." Oh my God! I'm gonna die. definitely have to blot that out. What? It's not like I strut around naked with people around. But you are. You always do. Not around strangers. Ugh. He dips his body in the water, letting out a content growl. The water only reaches up to his chest, and he submerges just to have the rest of himself soaked. 
I'm always envious when I see people go into the pool. They get, the, they get to stand on tall parts where people can barely go to. To me, they're like giants, and I envy their great might. The hair on his arms shine along with his eyes that glowed a bright blue under the curves of his brows. Hey, Grandpa, how many relationships have you had before Grandma? Hmm? Have you noticed something about me? Gramps. Both of us already know you're hot. <laughs> he notes how to chuckle and sits beside me. You've been talking a lot about relationships and marriage lately. Are you in heat? I can help you with that. No, I'm not in heat or anything. I'm just kind of troubled. Oh, is that so? Oh no. Well, it's not like nobody. Well, it's not like nobody had at least one or two relationships in their life. Yeah, right. I splashed my feet on the surface. Is that really what you wanted to ask? Or maybe you wanted to ask about the relationships I've had with men. Y yes. Oh, then don't be shy. It's not really a secret since I've already told this to my sons countless times. That you guys have a very odd relationship, I must say. <laughs> Been talking about the guys you have sex with with your grandchildren. <laughs> okay, that's pretty open. Anyway, I've had a count. I've had a. I've had a countable number of suitors. Hmm. They're mostly my type. Hot, big, and with the fattest tits in the south. <laughs> my god, Grandpa. What is Grandpa, you crazy. But none of them really wanted commitment. Said they only wanted a good time, not a long time. Of course, the two were up for the... Of course, their two were up for the thought of settling down. But like all relationships, it's not easy. So there's people I sadly broke up with. So Grandma really was the one... Okay, that should be enough for a pause. I say she's the one that hit the lottery. He nudges me and chuckled. I'm just kidding. She's everything that I've looked for as a person. Everything about us clicked into place and things just sailed, just sailed smoothly. Except for when I did ridiculous things that infuriated her, of course. I always remember what it feels like to be whipped on the ass. Stings. It really sounds like what she'd do. But what about the bad part? The bad part? It's all fine, but sometimes I feel like I'm lacking something. Then what do you do whenever you feel like, you know, needing, uh, wanting to rub one out with another man? <laughs> then I do it. <laughs> What's that? What? No, nothing else involved like the two of us agreed on. Mm-hmm. You're really something else, Grandpa. I am, huh? He smiled. <laughs> Damn, Grandpa, you fine. How old are you? So, how about you? What's your story? I stared at him. I don't know how relationships work. He's taken aback. Are you serious? How are you going to keep the ball rolling then? You're going to lose him if you don't have at least some experience. Uh-oh. Teach me what? Come on, I'll show you a thing or two. He jumps back into the water while I struggle to swim up. Oh, of course, you're on. He helps me to the steps and I stand up. Ah, thanks. Uh, like they're actually, yeah, they're not related by blood, but... Is this going where I think it's going? Alright. He grinned. Okay. Dayton 101. The first thing you need to know about relationships is the gifts that you can give to him. Gifts? Presents that look really nice, or food that fills his tummy. He pats his round stomach. Well, he likes sweet stuff, especially milk. Ooh, and chicken. Definitely chicken. Good, good. Make sure he gets lots of benefits from you as his partner. Food, move, food, movies, trips to fun places, education, finances, health care. Gramps, I don't think I have enough money to do all that. Ugh. Man, he'll be fine. Now, on your dates, make sure to hold his hand when you walk. Like this. He takes my open paw. Make sure he's comfortable doing it. If he doesn't like doing it in public, don't force him. Okay. Never, ever force him to do PDAs. Poke that ass. <laughs> No, it means public displays of affection. But I like your line of thought. I can already tell that you have a bright future ahead. <laughs> now, when you get to the sexy part of your time together, you should get to know his sweet spots and remember them. Usually they're right here. He points to my nipples. Hmm, mind touch, mind, mind touching your nipples? <laughs> oh god, it's hard to keep a straight face. Alright. He gently squeezes them. Oh. Now try mine. Me? Yes, it's part of the training. Okay. I hesitate. And here? I poke his right nipple. It's like a soft bread. It's like a soft bead. 
touch it like you want. I gently squeeze him between my fingers. Is that good? He sighs, somewhat relieved. Here's a tip. Some guys with busty pecs like it more if you squeeze them whole. He adjusts my hands to cup the whole pack. Now, squeeze. Shit, I'm getting hard. Mm-hmm. He purrs. Gramps, you're really enjoying this, aren't you? Better have fun while you're at it. He laughed. <laughs> now the arms. Start feeling him from the shoulders down to the hands. All right, how'd you do that? Like this. He gently slides his palms from my shoulders down to the lines of my biceps, ending it by holding my hand. Got it? I repeat the process, tipping on my toes to, re to reach his massive shoulders. Shoulder. Sliding down to his bulging biceps, across the lines on his forearms, and finally to his squishy palms. All right, guys, I'm going to pause it right there. I'm going to have a fair amount of editing to do. Let me, uh... Yeah. Let me, uh... Oh, Lord, I'm just going to have to... Just leave it right there. Yep. And, okay. And I made video. Okay. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a rather raunchy episode of A Place to Call Home. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks if you can. It always helps. And until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!